Hello, I'm back again everybody. Uh, it's Christmas! So I'm going to be doing some Christmas things. Um, having said that, the things that I'm doing aren't really that Christmassy, um, but I'll be taking them down to a Christmas little dinner. It's not even, we're not even having Christmas dinner, I think we're having risotto, but it's because it's Christmas. Um, so I am wearing my Christmas jumper. Um, and uh, let's get making. I just read the recipe for the fudge and you need two chocolate oranges. I've only got one. I went to Tesco and tried to look for a chocolate orange and they had none. Um, so then I also needed to go to W. H. Smith, sorry, W. H. Smith, and I thought actually they might have some in here. They did. Um, two quid. Then I walked past the past the co-op and they had them in there for a pound. So that's annoyed me. But I could always go back and get a pound one now. Just means I've got to go out again. <sighs> got to. Oh, they look different. Oh no, they're not. They look exactly the same. This should be the easiest thing to ever be made. So, there is really no excuse if I get it wrong, is there? Literally an idiot could do it, which is lucky, because there's an idiot about to do it. So, what I bought in Tesco is one chocolate orange, a thing of dark chocolate. This is 20, no it's not, 200 grams. Thing of, cond thing of condensed milk. I got scared of something else then. And I also got a can opener after last time's struggles. Um, and then I went to co-op and got a second chocolate orange because I didn't read it right. Clearly, any idiot, you know? So, let's do this. Um, you also need butter, um, a knob. Or butter, just um, and a slow cooker on oh, no. low. So there we go. I washed this up just now because it had soup in earlier. Um, so a knob. How much is a knob? I never know this because all knobs vary, don't they? Let's be honest. the average knob size I don't know <sighs> anyway literally all you do is just chuck it all in so I'm gonna do that the recipe said that you could choose milk or dark chocolate now I chose dark but hindsight is a wonderful thing and if I could go back I'd change it to milk now apparently we just leave that for a couple of hours and um it's done I think you've got to put it in a on tray or something. It's done. Piss easy. Apparently you've got to keep stirring it though. Um, which I mean I will try and do but probably not as much as they say because I'm a busy girl. I've got stuff to do. I've got an assignment due on Wednesday. I don't even know why I'm doing this but here we go. <laughs> the next stage is the lemon crunch. Lemon. Lemon, um, which is the, uh, the classic dish that we always have. I used to know the exact measurements for this, um, but now it's just guesswork. But that's okay. It'll, it'll be fun. So this bit, you want to melt up some butter and then um, smash some biscuits. Now I tried various methods of smashing the biscuits because I didn't want to use the blender because I feel like it's had a tough little life so far and it's 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 very new, you know. Um, anyway, it coped absolutely fine. So I mixed it in with the melted butter and then spread it out throughout the dish and pressed it down with a spoon. I think we're about halfway through the um, sort of slow cooker time. Whoa. I mean, to me, that chocolate looks kind of burnt. Um, but you know, what do I know? 
I only fucking made chocolates last week, but you know, that's fine. Got to sit in the fridge for two hours as well. Oh, maybe we should check on how the base is doing for the lemon crunch. I should probably do the top of that soon. Base, 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 buttery biscuit base. I want the base, 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 buttery biscuit base. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's all good. So I should definitely, definitely do the top because that needs to set as well. Whoop. Right, we've got like three minutes left on the thing. So basically time. Um, I'm going to have to put it onto a baking tray because uh, the other thing that I would normally use, I'm gonna, I'm, I've used for the lemon crunch. So we're going to have to go for this, um, which is fine. Um, so I'm just going to put some baking paper on and then lay it out on there. Hopefully it'll be big enough. And uh, put it in the fridge. I did try to spoon it out, but that was far too much effort. So I just tipped it instead. So then for the top of the lemon crunch, just a bit of all of that, what you just saw there. Um, normally you'd use the juice of four lemons, but I don't know what that is in lemon juice. And I wasn't about to squeeze four lemons with my hand with no lemon actual squeezer. So, so I've decided to, um, I did some Christmas makeup and um, now I'm gonna cut up the fudge. The knob, you remember the knob of butter? Far too big, I'm pretty sure. But, mind, it's fine. We'll work our way around it. I cut out the rough shapes that I wanted the fudge to be and then put them out onto some kitchen rolls so that the extra butter could sort of soak up a little bit. Um, and then I wrapped them up in some tin foil, just like Smithy, and they were ready for my mates then. And then this is the lemon crunch. I have no end footage. Merry Christmas. <laughs>